and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Bant Vanifar. Uh, this is kind of Bant Vanifar version 2. We played a pretty sweet Bant Vanifar deck um, last week, and or maybe I guess earlier in the week, I don't know, about a week ago, and I'm updating it here to... Um, <laughs> To kind of do some cool stuff. So instead of having a whole bunch of one ofs, we are going to be really focused on either Risen Reef, Nipak Ambusher, or Biogenic Ooze. All right, so all three of these cards are cards that really snowball whenever you get multiple copies into play. And uh, they just, you know, chain together, work really well together, and just amass um, just a whole or a crew, just a, a bunch of uh, either card advantage or creatures or anything like that. So we have our, our four Risen Reefs where. Um, you know, whenever you have multiple Risen Reefs in play, of course, each time, like, each elemental just draws you lots of cards. If you have a whole bunch of Night Pack Ambushers in play, then all your wolves are going to be getting plus one, plus one, and you're going to be making a whole bunch of wolves at your end step, and that that uh, gets out of hand real quickly. And kind of the same thing with Biogenic Ooze. Um, you're not making oozes at your end step. You can spend mana to make oozes, but at your end step, you're putting counters on all your oozes. So we're going to, like you know, kind of pick a lane depending on the game and, and try to do one of these. So to, to help us out, we have our mana creatures that help ramp us. We have our Neoforms that can turn the mana creatures into Risen Reefs to kind of start that chain going. We have our, our copy cards that, like, if we have Night Pack Ambusher in play, we can copy it with Mirror Image or Spark Double. Same thing, we can Neoform away a, a mana creature to turn it into a Night Pack Ambusher kind of thing. Um, or the same thing with the ooze, you know, like we can copy the oozes also, same kind of thing there. And of course we have the Vanifar, uh, the namesake of the deck that does that too. Turn mana creatures into Risen Reefs or like Mirror Image for, for one of these things. And then you can turn the Risen Reef into like an Ambusher or again, like a Spark Double for one of these things and, and so on. And so we're just going to try to, um, use our elemental wolf ooze power and, um, and go crazy with that. I I don't think we can really fit quasi duplicates as well. I think basically the 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 mirror image and spark doubles are quasi duplicates. Um, I think if we if you if you kind of played a deck like this without Neoform and Vanifar, you could play quasi du you know like that's where you could play quasi duplicate. But with those cards, you need a lot of creatures, and so that's why we got these in here. Um, the name of the mic. This is a Blue Yeti, a Blue Yeti Pro. I think that's what it's called, Blue Yeti Pro, mic. Um. So yeah. So that's that's what we got going for us. That's what we're going to be trying to do. Um. We'll see if it really works out. We got some frilled mystics in here for uh, Control X, um, Crafty Cut Purse can kind of pair with frilled mystic also against like the Scape Shift deck. We got a whole bunch of deputy detentions because against like the the zombie tokens against Scape Shift decks, you want to be exiling all of them. We got and deputy detentions just also our removal. Uh, but yeah, this one could be a lot of fun. Let's give this a try. Bant Vanifar version two. The elemental. Wolf Ooze deck. <laughs> the tie tying instructional stream. Easy easy way to learn how to tie a tie is to just go to howtotieatie.com. It's a very useful website. I haven't been to the website in years and years, but that's the one with whenever I have like uh, people ask me how to tie a tie, so that's where I direct them. Let's start with the Hallowed Fountain, actually. <laughs> and if you can't find the website, try how to find how to tie a tie. <laughs> My paradise druid. We're not going to be very good against Kaya's Wrath, of course. 
the whole point of our deck is to put a ton of um, creatures in play. And I guess mirror image isn't good if we don't get to play our cards. I feel like if I just play Prime Speaker of Anifar, then they play Little Teferi and bounce it, and then I'm, like, not looking so good. So I'm just going to play the Ambusher. So much use. Oh, hit the land drop. Come on, hit land drop. Land. Darn. So land drop, I would not put it into play, of course. I'd put it into my hand and then play mirror image and copy the Risen Reef. There we go. That's a good one. Well, I'm glad they didn't, you know, I'm glad that they didn't wait for me to play Mirror Image. Alright, maybe it's time just to get this thing in play. You know, they know about it, of course, and everything. Mind and body. Meditate and prepare. There's a little fairy. Um, And ill refined. Vanifar is also a news, so Vanifar will grow here too. Definitely hoping for no more Kai's Wraths. But not going to let them search for Kai's Wrath with Narset. Oh, come on. Ugh.
But yeah, I felt like I had to attack Narset to not let the minus the Narset. So I just played the ooze along with it. Drawing nine. All right, so I'm not going to be playing Vandafar in this matchup. That card's coming out. Bringing in Frill Mystic. I am going to bring in more deputies, I think. Basically, deputy is only... Deputy is awesome against... Uh, that last card they displayed, whatever that card's called. It's awesome against that thing. All right, and maybe not mirror image or spark double. I wish you could just deputy your own stuff right away. It's only opponent controls. I wish I could just, like, you know, to protect against wraths, I wish I could just deputy my own things. Yeah, if we deputy the, the command the Dread Horde things, we get them back. Hey, you're welcome, Resin. Glad you... Hey, you're playing the Kalia list on the ladder with a lot of success. Happy to hear it. <clears throat> Interplanar Beacon. Basically, need more power out before Frilled Mist before being able to hold up Frilled Mystic.
yeah, I was trying to represent that I did not have Frill Mystic, yes, but like it, it just wasn't that great of a time to be Frill Mysticing. This really isn't either. Leafkin Druid and Deputy Detentions are just awful. <laughs> the Deputies are only good after they command the Dreadhorde. Because they Kaiserath and I have just actual nothing. I just have all these cards that don't do anything. Okay, that's not so bad. Does that mean, does Leafkin seem good or bad when you play them? This is the problem with playing Deputy of Detention. I would love it if deputy attention would hit my own things. I would love to just deputy my own stuff. Yeah, it's it is yeah, it deputy sucks against Esper. It's only good against command the dread horde. Which it looks like my opponent has. Looks like that's what they're they're going for that right now. That's good for me. Deputy these risen reefs. They still get to draw six cards. That's not good. All right, and now they got millions of cards. Ooh, shocking. They're playing a lot of colorless lands for Basilica Bell Hunt. I have practiced against many foes. Oh, I did not have Just lethal with Deputy Belhunt.
Hmm. Still six cards over there. I cannot deputy either of their creatures. It's just a really bad play. Especially, you know, little Teferi over there, but just many reasons the deputy's gonna die, they get their things back. I'm not gonna be doing that. Just do I wanna deputy leaf kin druid? Maybe. I'm just not really even ahead. I should have just killed the elite guard mage, actually. Yeah, I should have killed the elite guard mage. I, I killed the wrong creature. Them having a three four is better for me than having than than them having a two three. Put thoughtfulness before action. So I need my deputies to die. It's kind of hard to kill them. won't hide from the world any longer. Keep up the pace. Neoform would be good. Yeah, I should kill that guard mage. Judge, hold that thought. Responsibility. Yep, Iris Propones kind of got us. The Command the Dread Horde draw six is rough.
Uh, yeah, we're not we're not really playing blue green flash at all. We just have ambushers. No, there's no Vivian's Arc Bone here. We have Neoform and Vanifar that help us dig. Pretty, pretty disappointed that I killed this. That I killed a Bell Haunt over this Elite Guard Mage earlier. Yeah, you can find the Kalia deck list right in there, Hustle. That's where you can find it. Trust me. And they have a lot of four CMC cards. We've seen a lot of Kaya's Wraths and now and three Bell Haunts, two Guard Mage. It's not bad, it's worked Hurry. out perfectly against me. Three Guard Mage and three Bell Hunt. Those cards are just so good. I need to draw Neoform. Be able to sack this deputy at attention. You show remorse. I'll show restraint. Yep. Command the Dreadhorde just Let's try this. Heck of a card. It beat us both of these games. You know, like earlier they got to take all my Risen Reefs, draw six cards with Command the Dreadhorde. Set them up into all this. It's just a heck of a card. All right, own one. The deputy detention plan did not work whatsoever. Yeah, it's an it's a uh, follow the next deck. Follow the Thran Leyline of the Void deck there. That's what we got going on. Up after this, very janky. Will it work? Probably not, but we're gonna try. Gonna go this way since we know we have we know we have our fourth land already. They can go Vanifar next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so my plan next turn is to sack Risen Reef, put 
put in ambusher don't don't play anything so we automatically get the wolf token pass the turn and then we can ambush her again on their turn why no attack with the reef there because one one damage makes just actual no difference however if something crazy happened maybe i did need to chump block with the risen reef it it's not my not ideal i didn't want to chump block with the risen reef but I'm leaving myself the option to. Ugh. It kind of seems like I need to. <laughs> yeah, one mana, seven, six haste. <laughs> it's not bad. If I take it, I'm dead to Colossus. Probably shouldn't take it. All right, so I'm going to make them discard here, and I'm going to just... I guess I'm going to be dead to Colossus either way. All right, so I, I regret blocking with the... I, I regret my previous turn. I think my best chance here... I gotta discard this thing. Alright, we're we're doing good. We stabilized. This, this block means both my ambushers die. I'll just do this block.
I don't want to play anything, <laughs> but I don't have anything to sack for Vanifar. So we know they drew a land. Oh, they just didn't play anything, so they're going to just discard a land. Um, I'll just play this. Very good chance that that was just wrong, and I should have just put t get two four fours with the ambushers. But I just kind of want to see if we could hit another land drop and and stuff. I'm glad that Risen refit that Hallowed Fountain. Well, Vanifar can only be activated sorcery speed. You don't you don't get to int instant speed Vanifar. It's not that good. You can't put like frilled mystic and, and stuff into into play instant speed and sack creatures in response to removal and everything like that. You can only do it sorcery speed. All right, do we just go ooze? Let's just go ooze, so we can we can actually play our cards. All right, we're upgrading from wolves to oozes. I'll start copying the oozes. <laughs> See, this our deck is sweet. The wolves fell in a vat of ooze. The wolves are cuter than oozes. That's true. If we draw a land, we get to like mirror. We get. If we draw a land, we get to mirror image ooze, deputy the token, sack the deputy to get spark double, spark double ooze. All right, we'll get some more deputies so we can deputize. And elite guard mage isn't that bad. Gain three life's kind of cool. Kind of forgot about Tulsimer. Maybe we should have turned one of those wolves into a Tulsimer and started gaining three life for every wolf. I kind of forgot about Tulsimer, to be honest. Just three deputy. Hmm, this is not going to do it. This could do it. Yeah, that was that was a fun game to watch, fun game to play. I I don't know. It was, it was I felt like <laughs> felt like that like there's so many different decisions and stuff, and all of them were like okay, and none of them were that great. And I don't think I was doing like the best, but I, lines I'm talking about. So it kind of felt like I was doing like whatever lines kind of showed up um, on like a dartboard or something. Like I was like throwing a dart and and just like all right, what am I doing this turn? Okay, I guess I'm doing this. 
I guess I'll play the Leafkin Druid because it can add four mana. I don't need the any color part of the Paradise Druid. But this this has the this has a better chance of like adding multiple mana. Domri's pretty great. Domri's removal. I don't mind that my opponent's minusing here. Obviously, if I would have played Paradise Druid, that would have been better, but I don't mind they're minusing right now. Because that means. They don't get to minus this turn to kill Vanifar. Not ideal. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. There's too many options. Punish you if they catch you. <laughs> this Domery's been a huge beating. Hey, Night Owl. Thirty-two months. Gotta catch them all. You are awesome. Thank you so much, Night Owl. Yeah, Deckmaster is not working properly right now. This Domri Anarch Bolus. It's been quite annoying. Giving them just a bunch of removal spells over here. My wild beasts will bring your comeuppance. I don't think I have much of a chance. I'll do it. 
Need like an, another Neo form. No. <clears throat> okay. I guess I should be playing you. Yeah, should definitely be playing you. I missed that card earlier. I don't like them killing my Vanifar, that's mean. <laughs> yeah. I liked the game one better when they didn't have the removal. Not game two when they had Domri that was like a whole lot of removal spells and plus they had Noxious Grasp and stuff. Alright, we need to draw land. But we have turn three Vanifar if we do draw land. If we don't, I could Neoform away Paradise Druid into like Risen Reef, but then that's just getting rid of an automatic land, which Paradise Druid is, to you know get like a maybe land. Alright, good draw. I'm playing Tulsimer next turn to kill one of these hunt masters. I guess I'd kill that thing. Yeah, I wouldn't mind playing a Tulsimer this next turn. Land? Ugh. So I can Neoform. Hmm. I guess I have to do that. I guess I have to go deputize these on masters. all the mana I have. I can't really neoform. I don't want to... I mean, I could neoform away land or elf to a paradise druid, but that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Ooh. No attack or nothing? Do they just have instant speed removal they want to use on my end step? I know, kitty.
Yep, they had removal spells. Still can't draw any lands. We certainly can't beat another removal spell. Just draw a land and play this Tulsimer. Please. If I could have just played Tulsimer and then Deputy this turn, that would have been better. We would have just drawn the land, but that would have been nice. Just got to hope they have a blank over there for their last card. I guess they don't because they're saying good game. Or they do because they're saying good game. If I play the Llanowar Elf, I'm guaranteed to be able to play Tulsimer the next turn. I think, so I think my opponent was saying they had nothing GG, but it's not over yet. All right, Risen Reef's good. Find some lands. Nope. Thanks, where to be. All right, Risen Reef turns into a Biogenic Ooze. Start attacking next turn or this turn? Attack with this 4 4. All right, we use it. The close one. Yeah, like basically, we have to be really worried about um, like Collision Colossus. Like them just having Colossus turning any of these to plus four power and trample makes like blocking really, really difficult. But it looks like they just drew the commune with dinosaurs. So I'll be able to Tulsimer. Uh-oh.
I know playing another ooze helps us go bigger, but I just I want to gain the three life. I don't want I don't know if they're playing like lightning strike. I don't want lightning strike to kill me. Start getting these mana creatures up the chain. I can go put other wolves into play. Yeah, Nightpack Ambusher gained some life with Nightpack Ambusher also. Yep, Vanifar is a news, an elf ooze wizard. So Vanifar is gaining the counters also. Hey, Abigail. Resin Reef Trigger. Go get another Wolfie. Trigger. Fight that. Gain three. Now we don't even have to play anything. We can just activate, we can spend our mana to activate Biogenic Ooze. And put oozes into play. While not playing anything gets wolves into play that gains us life. And fights. So that's pretty cool. And all the while I'll, I'll, I can chain land elves up to get more night pack ambushers. What? We could just attack and win. What are you, what are you talking about? One and one. You need you need more Hawkeye on the stream. All right. I usually snap my fingers and Hawkeye comes running. Let's see if it works. Hawkeye. Good boy. Hawkeye's the best. Good boy. So there you go, more Hawkeye. Yeah. Alright Storm, have a good one. Right, where are you going? Alright, he left. Oh, this would be so good if, if one of these was a blue land. This would be like perfect. Uh, if we had blue mana, this would be perfect.
I mean, do I still keep it? I mean, it doesn't do anything if I don't draw blue mana. Uh, that's like the... That was my least favorite mulligan I've ever had right there. That, that one hurt so bad. Yeah, we, we, I mean, we just have to mull that one. Just too high percent of a chance that we don't draw blue land. And then we don't do anything. Our opponent may not be expecting the ambushers here. Ceratops? What do they think? I'm a flash deck? Haste. Yeah, love it. Chomp. I think our, our opponent may be regretting some life decisions right about now. That spellbreaker just got chomped. Good old puppers. No, I'd not. No, my opponent wouldn't know that I'd flash in the deck. <laughs> yep, our opponent was ambushed. They didn't see the cute little doggy behind the window. Hmm. So we got teamer, teamer dinos. Featuring Spellbreaker. Maybe Devout Decree again. Maybe nothing. I like nothing. Sideboarding's lame. And that is true that I didn't attack with the Land of War, so like what else am I doing with that Land of War? That's a good point. That the Land of War was a, a pretty hard tell. We go first? Alright, I'll try it out then. If I was on the draw, I don't know if I'd keep this, but on the play, we'll give it a try. Mana creature? I'll take Mana Creature or Risen Reef. Or Hinterland Harbor. Mana Creature, Risen Reef, or Hallowed Fountain. I think my plan is... <clears throat> I think my plan is to, like, copy Ooze a bunch. I think that's my plan. Yeah, Quasi Dupla Ooze is back. Because <laughs> copying the wolves like this, like while you're casting stuff during your turn, doesn't doesn't work super well. It's like I wouldn't mind my opponent using removal right here on this ambusher. I'd be perfectly fine with that.
Ooze isn't really... Question is, when is Ooze good versus when is it bad? It's not really bad as long as you have, like, your mana to cast it and stuff. I mean, if it's kind of good against aggro, just, like, stabilizing. Um, it's not very good against flyers, of course. You know, you're playing against, like, Feather that has, like, a bunch of flyers. It's not, it's not great there. Ooh. My plan was just go Risen Reef, co Mirror Image, copy Risen Reef. We got another ooze. We can maybe copy some oozes. <laughs> They're gonna have like a big Chandra. Carnage Tyrant. Um, yeah, basic questions. Do you, you thought about any post-rotation decks or cards to brew around? Um, I mean, I, I, brew, I brew around basically everything in the format. There's not really rares and mythics I don't uh, brew around here. But as far as, like, decks for post-rotation decks, I, I'm not a big fan of, of post-rotation decks. Right, or, like, how do I say that? Trying to figure out what's going to be the best post rotation um, isn't isn't reliable at all when we don't know what the fall set's you going to be right star. now. We don't know what the man is going to look it. like or what what the powerful cards are going to be or any of that kind of stuff. So it's it's hard to say of just like, oh man, these elementals are really good right now and they're staying around. The elementals are going to be the best deck post rotation or something like that. So it, it's just really hard to say. However. Uh, with that being said, I am, um, as far as just, like, making decks that don't have cards that rotate, that's something I that I, I understand rest. people wanting to do if they're just kind of getting into standard now and they want to play cards, want to make sure they don't have cards that rotate. Um, as far, you know, as far as, like, if those things will be perfect post-rotation, that's just, that's hard to say, but anyway... With that being said, I am planning on very soon, maybe next week, uh, maybe I'll do this next week, I am planning on taking a good amount of time and make, making, uh, you know, a handful of decks that um, feature no cards that rotate out, rotation-proof decks, because I know that's, that's something that a lot of people have been asking for, and so maybe I'll do that next week of put together decks like that and and play those and yeah we'll we'll be behind because everybody else will be playing you know i'll play them here like in normal and standard we'll be behind because everybody else playing we'll be playing uh decks that don't rotate but we'll give it a try so i could if i go ooze copy ooze that's probably better than Copy Risen Reef, draw three, honestly. Cool. They blocked the 4 4, so they took 3 damage. So that that's something I'm planning on doing. So I'll, I'll pro you know, like I said, maybe next week. Um, plan on taking time to to do that. Uh, another thing that I'm planning on doing, and this this will be later on, um, maybe like late August, 
early September, uh, when we're closer to rotation, I'm going to spend like maybe a, even a week. I, I don't know about a whole week, but you know, up to a week, a week or less, um, doing like calling it like rotation week and <clears throat> building around rares and mythics from Ixalan through M19 that just didn't get to see play. Um, there were cool cards that didn't get to see play and just kind of build around those before they rotate out of standard like one last time, you know, give, you know, give them a shot. Like obviously like the decks won't be the best kind of thing because like cards that aren't so good. But hey, Hawkeye. Um, you know, cards like Liliana's Contract and Rowdy Crew and, you know, just there's just a whole bunch of cards rares and standard that didn't get to really see the light of day and so I want to give them their chance alright on the play we'll keep it Yeah, an Arcades. Yep, an Arcades deck. That's a good one. Yeah, Twilight decks. So that'll be fun. I'm going to do that closer to rotation. You know, whenever maybe maybe more people think that the the format is stale by then or or something. Um Yeah, I haven't played a legendary deck in a while. Legendary decks are probably better than they are are now than with War of the Spark. They just one of the strongest cards in the legendary decks, of course, was the white. Um, was the white legend, legendary spell, um, Urza's Ruinous Blast. But lots of people were playing. So blue green flash. So I'm going to be playing the ambusher here to make force them to counter it on their turn. I wouldn't mind a frilled mystic. Like you know, I wouldn't mind them tapping out. I don't like that. I don't like them still having the two mana up. Oh, come on. Uh. Deckmaster is not working right now. That was the worst possible thing that could happen there.
Uh, no, Matthew, I don't... Six... Oh, you got peep by Thousand Year Storm? <laughs> or your gate deck? No, I... Um... A lot of the, lot of the gate stuff was... <sighs> Guilds of Ravnica. Though also, so like that... There could be possibilities for gate stuff afterwards. I guess the is the blue the blue enchantment is that rotating? Is that Guilds of Ravnica? I don't know if the gate stuff's really rotating. Hey, there you go. Got a tourney report. Published. That's awesome, good brother. Yeah, on that top eight. Congrats. That's a long... Yeah, it's a nice, good long report. These unsummons just annihilated me. Unsummon. All right, Deputy Vale. Real Mystics may not be bad here. Take out these Spark Doubles, Mirror Image. Let's take out Neoforms. Sacrificing our creature and then you know, sacrificing with Neoform and then getting a counter is pretty bad. Plus, taking out Neoform means that we don't have any spells. So if they keep, like, negates, if they have, like, negate or spell pierce, then those won't do anything. I guess we have Veil of Summer. That's a spell. All right, I, I like our chances here. Gotta have mana creatures. Gotta start off fast. But we need lands also. That's a good hand. I put back the third Risenry for the Vanifar. Vanifar. Definitely won't play around syncopate. I'm not attacking into a trickster. I'd like to draw a land. Ugh. But we can still play around Syncopate at least. They didn't play land either. Alright, now we can just put lands into play. Come on, where's our lands at? Land, please. No, these are not lands.
Yeah, Cavalier Gales has has some really good things going for it in a Vanifar deck, how you can put whatever thing you want to Vanifar into back on top. So we hadn't seen Scatter from them before. Playing the Risen Reef there was not a very good play against Scatter. We just hadn't seen that from them before yet. We're not very good at drawing lands. <laughs> Our opponent's not very good at drawing lands either, though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I wanted to be patient on the wolves, but now they drew land, they're not gonna be going to discard. Cause the thing is is like if I if I play, if I don't play the wolf, you know, like they go, they just have to go discard. They discard a Carnage Tyrant, you know, like where they're at. But with them playing land, they weren't going to have to go to discard. So I played a wolf. Um, ooze. Now this is really this is really nice for us with the ooze. I can just activate ooze or play ambusher or you know have frilled mystic. Want to just be drawing lands. This is a weird game. Hmm. But we're good. Just gotta sit back.
I think we'll go ahead and try the Ambusher with one Veil of Summer here. Having Ambusher in play would be really nice. That would have been, obviously it would have been a lot better to have two Veil of Summers. What am I doing? I just play this thing. Just get that in play. Okay, game three. You know, flyers can be a problem. I don't know if Vanifar is a cut. Vanifar is a good card to have access to if you know if we have Vanifar in play. It can go put a whole bunch of wolves, you know, like we can go get a whole bunch of wolves and stuff like that. And turn all the mana creatures into wolves and oozes. I think, I think it's a good card. Hmm. Well, this hand we actually hit our land drops. Let's see what we got. <laughs> cool, you've been playing the Gruel Anti-Flash and doing well with it? Nice. Yeah, Leaf Kindred is just a card they don't have to counter. Hey, Pinkleton! Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Everybody get the high puts out in the chat for our new sub there. Thank you so much, Pinkleton. Well, yeah, thanks. Thank you very much for that support. You're loving the Simic Steel deck with Mass Manipulation? Alright. Not a bad one there. Um... I, I wouldn't say this is like if you're if you're trying to trying to buy into one deck, I wouldn't necessarily say this is the best deck. Um not much of this deck rotates, I guess. That's kinda cool. But this isn't This isn't like one of the, the best decks in the format. Hmm. Please 
Please, no wolf. I'm waiting because, yay, no wolf. I want to be able, like, playing just the Leafkin Druid here means we get to double spell with these next turn. Triple block. It's a good block. Chandra Tribal went pretty good. We, um, we did struggle against big creatures and so made some made some changes at the end of the video to the deck that could help that in the future i can't even play elite guard mage and deputy attention because of four green though can i Getting that attack in. Got to make sure no trample damage comes through. I forgot those Leafkins had two mana now. Dang, maybe I should have played the Bio I should have played the Biogenicus here. Could have got Ooze in play. Not just like any creatures, it struggled against really big creatures. For the Chandra deck. You know like big dinosaurs and stuff like that. Should've got Ooze in play. Ooze, I'd be able to sit here and be activating. I guess I should attack. Should attack with a 3-3. Yay. It's not very often that your opponent plays a Carnage Tyrant and the other person's really happy about it. It's over. It's over. I'm going to work these leaf. I'm going to just keep the night pack ambusher here. I'm just going to work these leaf kin druids up the chain to turn into oozes. That was a good draw. And I still have an, enough mana for Frilled Mystic also. Man, Leafkin Druid's pretty nice. <laughs> Carney Boy's time coming to an end. I'll miss you, sweet Prince of Carnage. Aww. Oops. 
somebody. Hmm. If I play Risen Reef, I don't get to actually get a night ba night pack ambush or trigger. Nah. Oh, I forgot to just activate ooze at end step. More wolves. I don't know when I'm actually going to attack. When or if. More wolves. Do I need to be worried about River's Rebuke? I'll start attacking. Just more fun just to keep playing stuff than attack. All right, let's see. What are we attacking with? All right, 15 attackers. Ugh. Let's see what happens. See, this deck's pretty sweet. The Nightpack Ambusher Biogenic Ooze combo is really cool. You just don't have to you don't have to play anything because you just make oozes. And then since you're not playing stuff, you're making wolves. So doggos and oozes. Alright, GG's. Three and one. You have no root snare, thankfully there. 
<laughs> Slimy good boys. What was our loss to? I don't remember. What did we lose to? It was something that beat us up. Was it dinosaurs? We don't really need your rock in this deck. We're not. We don't really have like ETB effects too much besides the risen reefs. Oh yeah, we lost to Espa. That's true. Yeah, Espa with all their Kaya's wraths. That was mean. Yep, this is Band Vanifar. Got the star next to the deck that we're playing currently. Gorge Spitter. So do we want... Hmm. Let's see what we get here. Risen Reef. Okay, well... I guess that's going to be our play then, is Risen Reef. Let's get this land into play. Ooh. Biogenic Ooze is interesting. Interplanar Bacon? Oh, this is a... Another Chandra Tribal deck, but with Scourge Spitter. Interesting. Yeah, we could struggle against Big Chandra, giving us an emblem. The regulator. It's in play. Alright, well, time to ooze. If you ain't oozing, you're losing. and you lose him. <laughs> well, uh, we may get wrecked here. We need to wait another turn. All right, I guess I need to deputy these Ember Cats. Looks like where you may get wrecked. If our, if our opponent has big Chandra, we're wrecked. Okay, never mind, we're wrecked. All right, well, that was me being greedy, going with that line. All right, well, I, I just cost us this. I should have deputied the Ember Cats to keep this from happening. Yep, really punished. <laughs> Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Okay, if you are oozing, you're losing. New slogan. <laughs> if you're oozing, you're losing. Ugh. I'll try to come back for you. Yep. <laughs> I'm just trying to have so much fun. <laughs> Ugh. I forgot forgot about the Ember Cats giving them all that mana. Kind of forgot about that until they started tapping the Ember Cats for mana, and I was like, "Oh no, what have I done?" Uh, 
All right, looks like I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. All right, note to self, get rid of the Ember Cats. Mm. Better note to self, let's counter stuff. All right, so Decree definitely in here and Frilled Mystics. Because I don't, I don't really like Deputy here. They're just so vulnerable to the red damage deck. I think we'll get rid of those, get rid of this Guard Mage. Two cards. Get rid of a Spark Double. Pulsimer. Okay. Yeah, Knife or Regulator destruction isn't the worst. All right, game number two, Lolly Yeager. Here we go. No, I, I put in Decree. Decree's in here. Yeah, I put in Decree. Chandra, you need more control. Just let me burn. Don't worry. I brought company. I I don't know. I mean, I think just playing like regular standard decks for treasure constructed is probably the way to go. I don't I don't know. Without like playing it in right now, I'm not really sure what kind of deck besides like greedy ma greedy mana base I and playing more colors. Uh, what really um, benefits with treasure constructed? So I'm not, I'm not sure. I think you can just kind of play normal decks. You can splash, you can splash whatever you want though. Say hi to my fiery friends. Enough swears right now. <clears throat> kind of wish I had the Tulsimer right now. For old Mystic, get Tulsimer. Or like, you know, Neo form away for old Mystic for Tulsimer. I'd like to draw some spells, though. I mean, I can't complain. We're ahead. There we go. That's a great spell to, to draw. Yeah. 
That was a very easy four damage taken. Uh, yeah, I guess new Karn would stop treasure, right? It says, doesn't new Karn says that artifact abilities can't be activated? So yeah, new Karn would stop treasures. That's interesting. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so if they block here, they take five, nine, thirteen. They just attack out, and it's fourteen. Just in case they have shock. Oh, I guess it gave me spark double. That's weird. Oh no, Neoform adds a counter. Never mind. Neoform adds a counter. It's not gonna be first to card and wins. You still get to you still play your lands and everything and But yeah, that does sound kinda cool. I think ooh, I'm gonna play mono black control with it though. That does sound like a good good call. I'm gonna play mono black control with the Karns. I want Lyra instead of Cavalier Thorns. <laughs> First card wins. We settled the debate. <laughs> All right, sorry. I guess y'all have already settled the debate, so that's it. It's just First card wins. No, it doesn't have any Revel. But I mean, I guess I could put Revel and Riches in there. Nah. Yeah, the pre-con event was good. You didn't have, you know, didn't need to build like a, whatever deck, you know, a deck for just a few games. Oh, opponent's nice. Let us play first. Bag of holding. Never mind, opponent's not nice anymore. I take it back. Hey, red side! With all the bits there. Thank you so much for that big cheer there, red side. Ruh row. Safely say I wasn't really expecting Chandra Spitfire.
<clears throat> I don't know. I was just a little worried about Neo forming the Frilled Mystic into Biogenic Ooze. I don't know if I should be. I'd have like all my creatures be kind of small. I don't know. I'm going to just get this four toughness thing. I guess Neoform does put the extra counter on it. Uh, guess I let him draw three. So it's, it's taking seven. Take seven or draw three. I'll take seven. Actually, I'm fine. Because I can go and sack for Old Mystic, grab Lyra Dombringer, and then spark double the Lyra Dombringer. I forgot about Lyra. Lyra, I could have neoformed last turn for Lyra. 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 Cancel. Attack first. Spark double. Double Lyra. Lyra. Double Lyra. I don't know. I pronounce them both ways. Uh, I don't know if this thing's going to kill me. It may. Is this going to kill me? The immolation sensation. 2 damage to any target. That doesn't kill me. Deals 4 damage to our creature and 2 damage to that creature's controller. That's not going to kill me, but that's annoying. Let's give this a try. Wait, I don't even know if this is going to work, but I just want to try this. Oh, darn it. Ugh, I need to tap my land war elves because blue mana. Is this going to... Can I mirror image this non-legendary Lyra? Sweet. That's cool. Uh, attack you. Sweet. I have never had three Lyras in play. I can say that. This is the first. Triple Lyra. What a warm reception. I have never tripled up Lyras before. You've had five show off. <laughs> what? You want a high five? We got three Lyras. High five. High five. Three Lyra. High five. High five. High five. High five. Three Lyra, high five. I know I will high make five. a difference. High five. Not bite, also, just the high five.
All right, four and one. We are on to the final boss here with Bant Vanifar, the Elemental Wolf Ooze Edition. Oozing for a bruising. I like it. All right, let's get our final boss playlist. It didn't work the other day for us, but it's going to work today. Here we go. Final boss playlist. Broke the game today with seven wild growth walkers, four field of the deads, three risen wreaths. Two path of exploration, in the enchantment, and a Yurok. <laughs> yeah, it's got to just mill you out completely. Ooh, it is Teferi Avatar, final boss. Man, we just had two lands. If any one of these was, an, was a land. We, we have not been seeing very many lands here. We've not been seeing very many lands at all. All right, we'll keep four. All right, so mirror image is gone. Cavalier of Thorns is gone. And... Hallowed Fountain. No, let's get keep the two blue. Get rid of Temple Garden. Okay. Here we go. We got this. Is this mono blue or blue green flash? Blue green flash? No. Reclamation. Oh gosh. Reclamation final boss with Teferi. Keep an open mind. I don't know if, I mean, even cyborg wise, I don't know if we really are going to do anything against Nexus with our, you know, we got our, our janky make a bunch of creatures deck. I don't know if that's going to be good enough against Nexus. I could just concede here and not show them Prime Speaker Vanifar. No, I'm going to show them Prime Secret Vanifar. Because we're not going to really be that focused on Vanifar after sideboarding. We're going to have like our Frilled Mystics and everything. And so... It is winnable, I suppose. I suppose it is. If our opponent doesn't have any fogs and doesn't really have anything and has a really bad hand. It's less winnable now. To the library. Tamiyo certainly makes it less winnable. Uh, Llanowar Elf. Mm, 
It's definitely not winnable anymore. It was winnable last turn, but not not with a Tamio tick up, put Wilderness Reclamation and Nissa in the graveyard. It's no longer winnable. And also flip as Kanta right now. Difficult to work. If this was a, t a two mana mana creature instead of Lanoir Elf, I could have played it and gone and grabbed Deputy at attention, and Deputy could have got, could have and find. taken the Tamio or the Ascanta. This is not winnable anymore. Activating Nexus twice twice a turn, they're just not going to find any... Or Sorry, activating Ascanta twice a turn, they're just not going to find any Nexuses when they've already gotten rid of half of their library. And they get to look at, like, ten cards a turn. And that library is just going to shrink. I don't, I don't see how it's possible for us to win. Okay. Definitely not anymore. Um, yeah, Liliana Dreadhorde General, maybe an EDH. Uh, okay. So, sideboard. Guard Mage out. Tulsimer out. Cavalier Thorns out. Just take out Biogenic Oozes. Do I take out Risen Reef? I feel like Deputy and Knight of, Knight of Autumn could be really important. So we probably want probably want to keep those. Probably want to keep these copy things. Did I already take out Elite Guard Mage? I already did. I guess not. But yeah, Guard Mage is out. Um, let's take out one Vanifar. We go just two of them. I have I have never drawn a crafty cup purse against the scape shift deck yet. I've only played against the scape shift one time with crafty cup purse in my sideboard, and there's only one cup purse in the sideboard, and I didn't draw it. Are you kidding me? Oh, forgot that I have like 10 seconds. I gotta have to click with like 10 seconds left. Ugh. Didn't get to sideboard. Well, actually, kind of liked our chances here after sideboard with having four deputy at attentions and three knight of autumns and four frilled mystic. I thought. Thought we actually had like some good stuff. I guess I I took too long sideboarding though, because once it's like ten around ten seconds, it just submits for you. Yep, lost to the timer.
I don't, I don't know. I think it's just some kind of bug, I guess. Like, why the 10 second prior? I don't know. It, mu it just must be some kind of bug. Well, they have a, a slow hand and we got a fast one. And we got the deputy. That's very good. So who knows? Maybe maybe we can get there. It's still pretty unlikely, but this is about as good a chance as we're going to have with outside boarding. A pretty fast clock here. No, I haven't played any Naya Feather. Hmm. Six, seven, eight. So it's still eleven here. So it is it is lethal the next turn. All right, they're still at one. Okay, we got one. We got a game. We didn't even sideboard. We got a game. <clears throat> hey, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy to play your, your donation deck there. And yeah, glad you glad you enjoyed it and everything. Um, didn't do the best with it, but we had, but you know, had some good suggestions for it and everything. All right, I guess I should hurry up and make sure I sideboard. Blast Zone is definitely going to be a problem, though. Blast Zone's an annoying one. Honestly, Biogenicus kind of looked, seemed like it was better than an Ambusher. Maybe it, I guess Ambusher's better with Frilled Mystic, though. 
I don't know. I know I want those things out. Well, one of these out, maybe two of them out. It's either ambusher or ooze, not both. All right, if we take out Risen Reef. <sighs> um. Play a couple of those. I'm gonna try ooze instead of ambusher. I'm not sure if that's if that's better or not, honestly. I don't know which one I want to play there. Yeah, playing veil the veil to stop their bounce spells. And yeah, they use like the bounce spells for some good tempo. I'm trying to stop that. Alright, Hawk, I need to get to the mouse that's over there that you're blocking. I need a mulligan. I need a mulligan. All right, come here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, got my two Risen Reefs that I kept in. Chandra Tribal is like mono red control, basically, with all the Chandras and, and uh, Chandra's Regulator and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Stop. There. Over here. All right, we need more interaction. We need more Knight of Autumns, Deputy of Detentions, Frilled Mystics. Those cards. That's what we need here. No land to pass. Better than playing Biogenic Ooze. Ooze gets a lot of pressure out there. Risen Reef <sighs> draws me more cards to look for more interaction. Good card. Not bad. I don't want to like give away the Veil of Summer right here, I don't think. Not expecting anything to get bounced right now. Um, plus, I, I want to save like the, the Veil of Summer for the Deputy. Like that's, that's what I want Veil of Summer for, is for Deputy. Yeah, it looks like they just have all four drops, you know, like Chemistry's Insights and, you know, Reclamations, Tamiyo, all that kind of stuff. Three, six, seven, eight. Don't have lethal. 
I'm going to keep the Paradise Druid back to have Real Mystic up. I should shock in the Temple Garden, I guess. All right, good. No bounce spell. All right, and we should have this. They go for another Wilderness Reclamation. We just counter it, and they lose. This should be over. Hey, Chronic Slayer. Doing real good. All right, looks like we're going to be five and one. Five and one, get those, get that gold, get those gems. All right, Bant Vanifar version two. Featuring elementals, wolves, and oozes. Pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, Nano Flare. Try this one tonight. Let me know how it goes. I liked this deck a lot. Yeah, this honestly, I don't, I don't know if I would change anything right now. So we lost to Esper Control, which that can happen. That's like Esper Control with a bunch of Kaya's Wraths is going to be probably our toughest matchup. Could have like Immortal Suns in the sideboard for that. Um, you know, like instead of like Crafty Cut Purse, but I, I think I like the the Cut Purses for like the Scape Shift. I think I think Scape Shift's just a, mu a more popular matchup than Esper Control with Immortal Suns right now. Or sorry, Esper Control with with Kai's Rats, you know, like a bunch of bunch of Kai's Rats. But these could be Immortal Suns to help you out there. But I mean, even Immortal Suns, they have to spark. It's not like Immortal Suns like game over against them. But yeah, pretty cool little deck here. I think against like all the other creature decks, I I honestly kind of like this deck against all the creature decks. Like Nightpack Ambusher and Biogenic Ooze just go bigger. Then the creature decks, and then even like the some of the spell heavy decks, you know. So as we saw there with Nexus, we have a lot of interaction for enchantments. You know, like four deputy, three knight of autumn, good interaction there. And then the the frilled mystics come into play for sure. So like the frilled mystics are nice against the spell heavy decks there. So yeah, this is a, this is a sweet one. This is a sweet one. Um, there we go. All right, so that's Bant Vanifar version two. Um, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there on that platform. I would appreciate that. But that's it here for Bant Vanifar. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.